Hi all and welcome back to this series on unit testing with XUnit and C Sharp. And in this one we're going to check how we can see whether an exception was not thrown. And you can easily see the use case for this in this example I've got here. We've got a very simple function which is just called throw an exception. It's got a try catch block. So we've got the part that throws the exception and then we've got it being caught here. But in our tests, we want to make sure that if there is any logic in here or whatever else, that we're actually getting to the catch block. Now, you can do this in two ways. If we run this test now here, uh, this test one, we will see this passes. And it passes because essentially no exception has been thrown. But this isn't what you'd class as a good test. It's not a good test because it's not really asserting anything. Yes, the name isn't particularly descriptive but every test you write should have an assertion so we could fix this and so we could just say you know well if it gets this far then we can say assert true true and then we are asserting something but we're again it's a really poor assertion we're only asserting that true is in fact true we could of course fix it another way and we could put this in a try catch block and we could say right okay throw the exception and if anything is caught for instance here then we can force it to fail now actually it doesn't have a false failure state but you can think do things like a false true just to know that the test will fail but again this part here is really hacky and really ugly so a nice feature that x unit actually has to allow us to do this is called record and all record will do is take in an action so it's a class called record it's got exception and exception async this is just an exception it takes an action which is your test code so we'll pass in an anonymous function which calls the throw an exception and here this will now return an exception if it found one or a null object if it doesn't so we'll set a variable here um, and we'll check um, was exception received and this will this is now a nullable exception so we can now say assert dot in this case it will be null was exception received and if we run this this test will now pass and it will pass in a good way we've got an assertion that makes sense we're checking if we've received an exception we haven't therefore it's null the really nice thing about recording exceptions as well is that if we were to say remove this code and just throw the exception then then we'll change this to not null oh no we'll change this to null we'll leave this as null this will fail but it will fail because the assertion has failed and not because an exception was thrown because you have to remember that normally if we just call this throw an exception function with nothing else around it and we'll just comment these out for now this will break the test in a way that will say an exception was thrown and now that could be an exception you're expecting or an exception that you are not expecting so this is a really nice and simple way to check whether an exception was thrown and validate against it using a proper assertion anyways i hope you found this video very very useful thank you very much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one cheers guys